What's up, everybody, and uh, hello, beautiful people. All right, it's Titan 369, and you know what it is? You know what's happening today? It is the launch of, uh, I guess, on the the, the whole uh, the setup, the, you know, going on mainnet. All right, we're going to talk about all that, but this is it right here, 12 Eastern. I'm going to kick it off, 12 Eastern time. The same time as it coincides with the Zoom call they got going on. Maybe I should do it before the Zoom. Nah, we should just do it. You know, we'll see. I might do it before the Zoom call or release this or on the Zoom call. But it doesn't matter. Um, this is Titan 369. All right, This is one of the top platforms in the space. And as always, I always bring on the special guest here in studio. All right. And uh, before we begin, you know, Titan 369... Let me bring on the special guest here. All right, who do we begin with? All right, let's bring on Marco's Dick Bag. Yeah, the dickhead, fucking bastard. All right, this is this is a piece of shit YouTuber in the space who thinks he knows what's best for crypto and tells everybody to avoid DeFi synergy and things like that because he knows what's best. All I gotta say is he needs everything he can get to show for why they put in a hundred thousand dollars for his behalf. Because it's fake, you know, he faked the deposit. And, um, of course, you know, they, they're going to need to, uh, he needs to justify that. And that's why he's trying to just hone in on that only. Because any true person that puts in a boatload of money into platforms will make a bigger deal of past platforms that have failed, right? For example, uh, Echo One claims to have put in $30,000. But yeah, it's not even sweating it, right? Not even sweating bullets, not even making a big deal of it. And takes it for their word about a car accident and all this other bullshit stuff, right? Um, but yeah, so, you know, you get shit like that, right? But yet, oh, you know, no big deal, $30,000, right? Because they paid for it. I mean, I, I, I know for sure, for a fact, they paid for it, right? Uh, that, that was fake. Uh, $10,000 into my Dana. All right, same thing. If it was a, such a big deal, it, it wouldn't have taken a month to finally say something like, oh, it just came to my attention that my day is finished. Get the fuck out of here, man. Trash. All right? Months after it ended, man. I called my Dana out when it ended. Months before this dickhead did. All right? And so, Ty369 ain't any better. In terms of him faking it, that is. All right? It's a good platform, but he's fake. And bottom line, the deposit was fake. I watched the video, and and the difference between if you watch my deposit, it was all live, right? I did it live, and it was so fast that I, I you know I couldn't have, I couldn't believe how fast it was to just take a deposit just like that. Whereas he had to hit the pause, and then make us some excuse. And then turn it back on again because it was fake. That's just what it is. Um, and if it's not fake, then show me proof. Show me the transaction hash that you put 100K because he didn't. Did not. All right. And we all know his reputation. All right. For he saw everything. He saw the bots. He talked to the people. He saw everything. Right. Like he said about Coin Market Bull. And that's why he looks fucking goofy like this because it looks stupid when he says all these things, makes all these statements, and then it blows up in his face and he, and he looks stupid like this all the time. All right? So just saying, keep all that in mind as we coincide with the launch of this, uh, you know, going on mainnet, all right? Uh, let's see, who else is a special guest here? Oh, the, the wannabe, all right? The leech in the space as well. The, the hanger honor. Hanging on nuts and balls of people. Don Maliki, right? But I got the real crypto Don because I had to dig him out of the crypto grave. The real crypto Don, you know, I, I could deal with because that Don Maliki is a fucking leech. Never shows nothing. All he does is talk. And no one understands what he's saying anyways. But all he does is talk. And that's it. <laughs> I was like, come on, dude. Why don't you show me what you got? All right? He never shows nothing. Just like Jan never showed nothing. Trash, people. And speaking of which, 
Speaking of trash, we have a bitch trash named Dora. Woo! Man, Dora is Marco's girlfriend, right? You know, she thinks she knows what's best for crypto. She thinks she's the, the hottest thing there is in the space, but fucking trash too. And fucking uh, a dummy. All right, because, you know, that's why we relegate Dora to doing compensation plans, right? Because if we have her taking over, running the, the videos and content and all that, man, she'll be droning on and on about some bullshit. And she don't know shit about crypto. That's why we keep her down on compensation plans. So today, Dora, as always, you're going to be handling compensation plans. Got you, baby. All right. Thank you, Masa. I'm just grateful to be here because I love Titan 369. All right. Cool. All right. It's Titan 369. And, of course, we have another special guest. He's looking for a job. Agora. You know, this is Max Spread's uh, bot. All right. Agora. He's looking for work. Been out of work since Max Spread went down. And, um... Hey, Agora, do you, did Jan have any responsibility into the reason why Max Spread went down? Because, um, you know, when I first joined Max Spread, it was kind of slow. And then, you know, Jan tried to come in. All of a sudden, just out of nowhere, became CEO. And then next thing you know, he ran that shit down. And then you guys are gone. And then you, now you're out of a job. Oh, shit. Silent. Okay, so he didn't want to speak about it. All right. That's fine. You don't want to speak about it. No, it's no big deal. <laughs> oh man, this is funny shit. But um, let's talk about three six nine real quick. All right, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about uh, what's going on today. I mean, we already know the whole concept of this, right? I mean, should I do a condensed version because you guys don't want to go through the whole slides and stuff? But then we're gonna go back and go through the slides anyways. Like it's like a double presentation that Marcos does every time, like a fucking dummy, right? So, uh, proof of work, proof of stake, right? Proof of stake is what it's all about. Um, you know, Ethereum and uh, everything else, pretty much outside of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the, the biggest thing there is in crypto, right? It's the God, godfather, the grandfather, godfather. It's the everything, right? Without Bitcoin, there wouldn't be crypto, right? Um, but they found a more efficient way to go about work in the, the crypto system in the form of proof of staking all right less congestion in a sense because <laughs> ethereum network can get congested right especially if a lot of people's on it when it was hot and heavy in the early 2020s right 2020 2021 you know all that man the ethereum network was just clogged as well because so many people were on it programs uh nfts the usage of the network itself, it really congested at bay. You know, it kind of eased up now as time went on. Um, you know, because of all these different networks, right? Chains and networks opened up. So it kind of alleviated that that whole uh, pressure on the Ethereum network. All right. Uh, but here, you know, it's its own separate chain, right? They say 369 chain, courtesy of... Jensen, yeah, Jensen, our boy from Vortech United. All right, he's the undercover CEO that that Marcos. Shh, no, no, it's a faceless CEO, right? Get the fuck out of here, man. We all know it's Jensen, all right, because we can tell by the stylized of this platform and how you're just so in his nuts. Because only Marcos would be all up in his nuts and balls about a program. Especially coming from Jensen, right? Because um, that's just what it is. And, you know, all the signs are there, all right? I mean, I could just be saying it, but we all know. We all know this is a Jensen program, all right? And um, the similarities to Vortec United, all right? Like I said, in the meetings I've had with Jensen in the past, this was supposed to be the next kind of like iteration of Vortec as it's supposed to make its progression on, but it collapsed, right? And that's why it's in hiatus right now. Supposedly they're going to relaunch it, uh, you know, sometime like in June or something like that. Um, but I wouldn't doubt it if it didn't, 
because to be gone for this long period of time while he focuses on a different platform, to me, I just don't think it's going to be up to fluff and all that as Jensen and Marco's dickhead tries to put it out to be or make it out to be. I wouldn't doubt if it ever came back. You know, Vortex never comes back. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I'd just be like, yep, I've been saying it, you know. Um, but yeah, Titan 369 is supposed to be that next iteration of it. Um, and then it just didn't happen. So I think what Jensen did was he started up as a separate platform, which is fine. I like it. I like the platform. And maybe it be it's better, but maybe not. Maybe if it latched on to what Vortex United already had going on, it could have just completely blow up Vortex United even more to bigger and better and badder in terms of just being a the, the top-notch platform it, it was, right? But now it's kind of like Titan 369. It's kind of building on a new foundation. You might not have the same amount of audience that you had in Vortex because of what happened with Vortex. But, you know, it, it's still a nice platform. It's separate. And uh, we'll see how it goes, right? So uh, Web 3.0 is kind of like the next phase of the internet, which we are kind of in right now. Uh, Titan 369 blockchain. They're their own blockchain, they say, right? Um, which is, they say it's compatible with the Polkadot network and its parachains. Uh, no, don't, not to be mistaken with parakeets, right? The birds. Uh, it's supposed to be blazing fast blockchain, right? And we're supposed to be able to see all that into work today. All right, we're supposed to see all that happen today. And the fair launch of this utility token is supposed to be happening as well. So, all right, right now it's pegged, but I, I'd be cautious, though. I mean, to be honest, I'd be cautious if they remove that peg just because um, you just don't know. Usually when you remove a peg off of what was originally kind of like a stable coin and you remove that peg and let it go to free market, it will definitely pump. It'll definitely dump. And the question is, will it recover? Or will it just be sitting in shitcoin water? Right? So, right now, one to one, but maybe go to free market soon. Um, they're looking for 100,000 uh, 100, validators. I don't know what the current number is at right now. Like, how many of us are there as quote unquote validators, you know? Um, it, it's still in the early going stage because 100,000, that's a lot of people when you think about it. Uh, I wonder what the true number is right now. I don't know if they ever post that on their site or anywhere um, what the true number is. So they got their vision. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Dora, it's your turn. Oh, thank you, Masa. Oh, my gosh. I, I just love being on your show. I love just being able to talk and, and cover these compensation plans. And so I, I just love compensation plans because I always have some, such nice big numbers. And these big numbers is what turns me on. And that's what I love about it. Because Vortex United turned me on. And Coin Market Bull turned me on. And Max Spread turned me on. And Titan 369 turned me on. And my Dana, not so much. That's why we never talked about it. It wasn't such a turn on. That's why we just never talked about it, you know. And um, what's that other? Oh, Echo One. I never really got to experience it. But, but oh my gosh, it could have been so good. Because of the, the, you know, instant withdraws. And, you know, when Marcos means it, then he then it's instant, right? And that's what I love about it, too, because he means it a lot. Mm. Wow. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. It's like, if we let Dora go and run off and talking on her tangent bullshit, she just goes off to some wild shit. So, so uh, that's why we got to hone her and keep her down to just compensation plans only. That's what me and Marcos do in the videos all the time. He does it all the time. I do it all the time. I'm trying to keep it consistent here. All right. So uh, now focus, Dora. We got to focus on the compensation plans here. All right. Uh, yes, muscle. See, right here there are six tiers to Titan three six nine. There's tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five, tier six. And you can see there the squiggly line. Those are approximate means. And approximate means that, you know, for the first one, you're making approximately 0.69% daily. Doesn't mean you'll make that. But sometimes you do. And sometimes you don't. 
And then you can make it all the way up to tier six, where, where me and Marcos is at. See, 1.18% daily approximately. And that's where we're at because we put $100,000 into that. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, right? You're telling me you did not put $100,000 in that shit. You guys know it's a setup, all right? And we all know it. Some of you guys will try to make it look like, you know, you guys actually did it. You don't fool me, and I know there's a lot of people out there you don't fool either. You might fool some people, but you definitely didn't fool me. And I've watched, I like I said, I've watched that video, and that deposit was fake, all right? It's a setup, but it's okay. Uh, we all know you guys need to work to justify that $100,000 fake deposit, by the way. Well, I don't care what you say, Muscle. We got 100K in. And, and there. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, we all know it's fake, all right? Bottom line. All right, keep going. All right, keep going. Man. Forget about this. We're, we'll talk about that later. Well, see, and, and what you got to do is you got to put in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, USDT, right? And then it goes into 369. It swaps, right, into this little machine. It swaps it into tokens, right? And then you get these tokens, and then it earns in the system, right, of validations and all that stuff that goes inside this machine here. And then it shoots out 369 tokens. And then what you can do with those tokens, you can cash it out. And then when you cash it out, you get it back in crypto. Okay, cool. What else you got going on here? Oh, and this is the part I love the most. I love, oh, I love the compensation plan. All these big numbers. Oh, my gosh. You know, it just makes me so juicy wet. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. And once you, once you start ranking stars, oh, my God. Look at, look at all these stars. Oh, um, and you get all these stars, and you start getting more stars. I'll get all that money. Oh, my gosh. I love it. That's what I love about this. That's what I loved about Four Tech United. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm just so excited. Oh, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bring it back to you, Mark Muscle. Damn, man, you're just sometimes you can be wild. You're just way too much sometimes, you know. That's why we just keep you at that. We won't even talk about the bonus pool, all right? This is when you are like, you know, some big time stuff here. This is big time money into big time stuff. But you got to get there first, all right? So we won't talk about the bonus pool. We could. we could. Uh, I mean, the fast art bonus. Um, you know, you got the fast starter stuff here. This only for, works for the first 30 days that you personally started into the platform. So once you sign up and you make that deposit, you got to, um, you know, start. If you really want these bonuses, you got to start putting it to work right away to achieve these fast start bonuses. Um, that's just the way this setup works on the fast start. And uh, that's what you got going on there, right? 369. And so, with that, whoops. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, hey, uh, Gore, you got anything to say about that? Okay, still looking. For, he's still looking for work. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's check out the, the, the Telegram here. All right, so they got the official launch Zoom. All right, Coinside and... With the crypto mu muscle oh, launch Zoom, right? Which is all about, you know, going from testnet to mainnet. All right, as as this system goes live, you know, or yeah, today. All right, the development is in progress. All right, let's hear what others have to say here. Oops. <laughs> Let me see here. Damn it. <laughs> see does this work let me see if it works I don't know if it's still working let's see might be cut off though because of my mic damn mic I'm trying to see if it's still going come on maybe it's still going all right maybe it's all right cool I'm gonna I'm gonna see here I gotta monitor I don't know I don't know if I'm trying to see here is it working I can't tell if it's still working but anyhow um <laughs> I got to continue on here, man, because I, I knocked my mic off and uh, hopefully it's still recording. So if it's still recording, I'm going to keep it pushing here. And if it stopped recording right when I knocked my mic off, then uh, I guess well, it is what it is. But anyhow, we're going to keep it going here. Uh, I'm going to try to look up the muscle, not the crypto muscle, the Titan 369. 
see what other things are going on here. There it goes. The blockchain live. All right, it's going to be demonstrated live on the blockchain explorer. So I'm saying Shazam. All right. So that's what's happening there. Everything's coinciding with this today. All right, so uh, that's where it's at with all this. And so um, with all that, let's go take a look in here. And uh, let's see. I'm going to try to switch that to wallet. Got another 155, but it's okay. I'm going to swap back. 266 and by the way Bitcoin is not available all right people keep saying oh you can withdraw in Bitcoin but it has not yet happened let's try it because it's not gonna happen I've tried it week after week after week and it has not worked so I don't know why they keep all these idiots out there keep on saying you can withdraw in Bitcoin as it's not available all right so I don't know why people say that all the time all right, so you got a bunch of numb nuts and morons out there at, uh, you know, so oh, you can do that. And you're just like, no, you can't. All right, so I'm just saying. That's why you got to be careful who you listen to out there. Because um, all I got to say is, you know, I know what I'm talking about. And so I just put a withdrawal for 266. It's uh, been pretty consistent, as you can see there, 266, 276, 500, 260, 308, 266, 369. Ah, that's pretty cool. First time I did a withdraw, it was uh, 369 on Titan 369. Pretty cool. Yeah, so it's been pretty steady and consistent every week in terms of that. This one won't come for another uh, two days, 11 hours on the 155. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens from there. That's just how it works. It's all about the validators, right? You want to purchase the validator. And you don't, you don't, you're not just limited to one. You can purchase another one if you want to. And, you know, if you want it the same one again, or you want to go with 100, or you want to go with the 50, you could put one in, another one in, boom. You could get one of each if you want to and put it in. And uh, once you do, um... You know, you're going to be swapping in the token. So what you got to do first is, for example, you uh, swap, right? You want to select what you want to put in. So you want to do USDT, ETH, Bitcoin. Let's say you're going to do Bitcoin, right? And you want to get started with, let's say, $1,000, right? Well, you got to put in this amount, right, into it. Deposit now. So... If it tells you to put in that, just put in that, all right? And then from there, uh, it'll show up on your dashboard as a, not a, yeah, as a wallet balance, all right? Then what you got to do is you got to go to validators and then purchase it, all right? And then you purchase that validator based on what you deposited. That's pretty much how it works. Very easy stuff, but yeah, so today is the launch of the Explorer. Um, you know, I, I'm just before the launch of it, I wanted to, to kind of see you guys on the other side of it to see how it goes and uh, go on from there. But, um, yeah, these fools, though, you got to watch out for these fools, all right? These, these numb nuts and idiots right here because these guys are clowns, all right? And by the way. <laughs> Come on, man. Didn't I call this? I called this, all right? Let me show you guys this right here. Right? I called this to the T, all right? Like this right here. All of a sudden, it went viral, right? 11,000 views. Oh, my gosh, right? You get all these views that were only like, you know, let's just say on average 100, right? 100, 150, whatever, right? On average. This one's like below average, right? 88, all right? You have all these, you know, 100 some views, all right? And all of a sudden, then, then I call that out, that, oh, yeah, he's going to make this thing all of a sudden go viral. No one gives a fuck, all right? And, uh, by the way, this gone up just in the last two to three days from this, this video here. This thing, it, this thing was stuck at around 35,000 bot subs. All of a sudden, it went out 3,000 in just a matter of a few days. How? 
How can it go 3,000 subs up in the last few days, right? But yet it doesn't parlay into these tiny views, all right? Because a year ago, I, I showed you guys how he was sitting at around 1,500 to 2,000 subs. And then how it all of a sudden shot up out of nowhere, right? So that shows you how fake he is, and he's only in it for himself. He always says, oh, yeah, I, you know, I like to help people out and blah, blah, blah. Or people say, oh, he's helpful. It, only if it helps himself, all right? Because no one takes Fridays and Saturdays off due to some religious bullshit like these guys do. These clowns are here, all right? Claims to work out. Like, Get out of here, man. You think these little dangly arms... He works out. You think you think those dangling arms he works out? Get the fuck out of here, man. So it's shit like that. All right? And you know how he tries to be in, oh, no, in the in club, right? As uh, Jan was going through his little uh, stomach issues and last year. And uh, he claims to have belching issues with his stomach. Just get the fuck out. What the? What is that shit? And then you come back with some bullshit like, he saw everything. He saw everything to, oh, he only saw it on Zoom. And it's like, uh, <laughs> the whole time you talked about how he saw everything, like he was inside the house, everything, to he only saw it on the Zoom call. That's like two different worlds right there that you backtracked on. I mean, the list goes on and on, right? Uh, I remember, I'll never forget, um, there's another platform that this dickhead sat there and said like, oh, he asked the admin to increase his uh, commissions, right, or his affiliate commissions, right? So that way he could build a fund just in case if it goes offline, he could use those funds that he makes extra on to pay back for those that are in a loss. And guess what happened? It didn't happen because <laughs> he collected it but never dished it. Fucking bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, that was a program last year. So it's, it's the shit like that. You know? And uh, you just collect it. And then you came up with some excuse why you, you didn't want to pay it out. Because uh, people were asking, hey, you know, you said when, when it scams, you know, you're going to, uh, you know, pay whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then. He came up with some lame excuse. Uh, it was a platform called Pollinier, right? And of course, you know, the video's gone, right? See, all the Vortex videos are gone. And um, Echo One, the only reason why it's kept up right now is because it hasn't, in, in their eyes, officially exited yet. All right, Echo One is dead. Be bottom line is dead. All right, he made some claims about how the admin... Got into a car accident and broke his back. And I'm surprised he came out and said that the CEO was fake. I'm, I'm surprised at that. That was very surprising. <laughs> you know? I mean, we all know about these fake CEOs and stuff. Like Jensen, right? CEO of uh, Vortex. Is the C He's the, the hidden CEO of, um, of uh, Titan 369. And um, this is funny. Because uh, he's the hidden CEO... But it came out and said that uh, Echo One, uh, they have, there was a fake CEO. We don't need a CEO for a platform. It's like, wow, okay. Because <laughs> it was discussed that the CEO never showed up. So he came out and flat out said it was a fake CEO. I was like, wow, that's surprising to hear that, you know. And um, uh, uh, another thing about that, too, is that uh, Tyson 3, I mean, Echo One's dead. It's dead. Bottom line. You're going to be waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, maybe Dude will recover from his back. But it's going to be some excuse as to why it's not paying. I mean, we've already, I've already said a long time ago, right when it stopped paying, that it, it's, it's been dead for a long time. But nobody wants to listen. You know how far along dead Echo One's been? December 24th. All right. December 24th was the last time it paid out anything. So, uh, you know, choke on that for a minute, slap nuts. And then think about that. So, yeah. Uh, 
It's so viral, man. It's so viral. Oh my gosh, 11,000 views. Watch. This thing's going to shoot up to like 15, 20,000 views and all that bullshit. Get, get out of here with that shit, man. Fake as hell. All right? Like, no one watches this bitch. All right? Plus, I've seen better Hungarian bitches anyways. But anyhow, um, Titan 369, this is the real deal. I'm the real deal. And um, there's nothing fake about what I do. I don't fake the funk worth of nothing. I talk about it as it is, how it is, for a very long time. All right, and when there's a beginning, there's an end. I always talk about it. When Vortech ended, I, I talked about it right away. I didn't drone on and on and said, oh, hang in there, guys, thoughts and prayers and all that. Shit, I even gave you a little bit of an insight here that, hey, this is what was talked about. Titan 369 was the next iteration, the next concept that's supposed to be attached to Vortech, but Vortech didn't make it far enough to get to this point of where it's at because Jensen talked about tokenizing the platform as Titan 369 is. He talked about having an exchange. He talked about this sort of thing, blockchain, all that stuff. This is stuff that Titan 369 is, is, is of what Vortech was going to be. All right, so I'm just saying, you know, uh, it's good right now. It's a good platform, very good platform, by the way. But you got to be careful, though, because once they set the pegged Titan 369 coins, into free market by unpegging it, that's where we got to really monitor and watch what happens there because free market is going to pump and dump this thing, all right? And that's just being real. So we got to be very, very careful. Hopefully, they don't remove the peg anytime soon. They remove the peg like a long time from now, all right? Because that's the only way um, we could benefit from it is keeping that peg on, all right? So just saying. But yeah, so today is that, you know, blockchain on Explorer launch. We'll see what happens. And I'll see you on the other side. I just want to say thanks for tuning in. All right. And uh, any last words to say, Agora, before we go? Um, it's kind of quiet, he's, but he's looking for work. All right. Uh, anything from the leech here? Crypto wannabe here. This this Don Malachy bullshitter. I mean, the real Don was way better, by the way. Even though that, I remember that platform, he said, I put $50,000 into this thing, right? He only talked about it once and then never talked about it again. Never, and it's like, wow. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, the only one that could probably remember that time was uh, maybe Oracle. Would be the only one that could remember that. Uh, I can't remember the name of the platform, but um, he said he put $50,000 into it, right? And uh, it kind of reminds me of the Marco fake stuff, right? And... Um, Never spoke of it again. Never. I was just like laughing. I was like, man, that thing just died. And I like, never spoke about it again as if it never happened, you know. So it's funny. I, I like it when uh, events become a non-event. Like it just never happened, even though we know it happened. Right? So yeah, so that leech, crypto, uh, I mean, Don Malachy is trash. All right, because he's just a leech. He likes to suck on people's. All right, <laughs> behinds and stuff and then of course you got the dickhead here um that dickhead all right fake as hell and we all know it i'll keep calling this bullshit out till the cows come home because that's all he's ever been doing this whole time is bullshitting everybody in the space you guys keep falling for it too you guys are a bunch of morons you keep falling for these fools all right gore is innocent because uh jan ran down max bread so I, I feel bad for Agora because Agora could have been something. <laughs> oh, man. And then lastly, of course, uh, you know, Dora, all right? That dummy, all right? Don't know nothing, man. We, I know of a lot more females that know more in crypto than this bitch right here. So, yeah. She thinks she knows everything about it. You know? I, I don't just tell my friends about it, you know, because... I got to tell people about it, but not my friends or family. Get out of here, man. You don't even know what you're talking about sometimes. You know, you just like you just come up with shit all the time. All right. Just as bad as Marcos does. Um, but, yeah, so that's how the whole system works here, all right? 
And now we're going to be able to see the whole uh, blockchain explorer and see the, the workings of it. So, yeah, we'll see how this thing goes. Titan369, check it out. Links are in the description. Comment down below. Oh, and by the way, hopefully uh, this all, you know, the audio is up and working and everything um, still because uh, it might have went off like uh, like 18 minutes ago. <laughs> but, yes, um, check out my new chat as well. All right. As people are coming on board, you know, uh, I had to bring it back because my old chat I had to uh, take that one down. But yeah, so it's all there. This is the only one. You saw the fake ones, all right? All right, so comment down below. Subscribe to everything I got. And uh, that way you can stay on top of everything you got going on. Plus, I'm just the truth in crypto. I'll see you next one.